Today, we are going to learn how to play some of these horrifying harmonies. <laughs> Thank you, Tim Topham, for sharing this fun activity. I'm going to start and stop this YouTube video and teach you how to play the different ideas. <laughs> Tip number one in creating horrifying harmonies is to come up with some terrifying triads. Try going from a minor one to a minor six. Minor one to minor six. In this case, we're going to start with C minor. Our C minor chord, C, E flat, G. And our left hand is going to play the root of that chord, the C. Change the A flat minor chord. All right. So between the C minor and the A flat minor chord, we have one note that stays the same. So this key is going to stay the same. This one's going to go down a half step. This one's going to go up a half step. And because of the shape of our hands and the black keys, we're going to actually have to swing in a little bit too. So notice how my hand goes from out and closer in to play that A flat minor. For the next one. Tip number two for creating horrifying harmonies is to take a creepy chord progression and add in some spooky suspensions. All right, so this one um, sounds super cool. It's going to be a little bit hard for smaller hands, but let me show you first how he did it. He played the C minor, or the C minor chord is like this that we did before, but he added this D to it. So that's a C minor add two chord. And now for the A flat minor, we're gonna move we're gonna move this way again, but we're gonna add a B flat to it. Okay. Notice also my arm angle is coming this way. I can't. I can't have my arm coming out to the side or it doesn't work. I have my arm right in front of my body. Okay, but for those of us who have small hands and for those who have much smaller hands, that's going to be really hard to reach. So let's change this up a little bit. We're gonna hit a low C in the bass and we're gonna make that a higher A flat here. And then in our right hand, we're gonna play the C minor at two, just the same way. But this time we're going to move down to A flat, B flat, C flat, B flat, because C flat looks a lot like a B. Much easier to reach. Still just spooky. Tip number three in creating horrifying harmonies is to take your creepy chord progression and manipulate the rhythm into a wicked waltz. So this one, um, the right hand is just like we did at the beginning, except it's up an octave. So instead of down here at middle C, we're going to play it up here at treble C. And then the A flat minor is just the same way. So that was tip number one. Our left hand now is going to play... Now to make the waltz feel, we're going to play the bottom note, or the C, and then the other three notes together. We're going to move down to play the A flat, and then the other three notes together. Again, it's kind of the same pattern. We have A flat, whole step, half step, and then a major third, which is a whole step plus a whole step. 
So, right hand. Tip number four in creating horrifying harmonies is to take your creepy chord progression and play it up in a high register of the piano. This will make it sound like a nightmare nursery rhyme. Alright, so this one is exactly like what we just did, except instead of playing it here, we're going to play it here. Tip number five to creating horrifying harmonies is to outline creepy chord progressions with abhorrent arpeggios. Right, so this one is my personal favorite. Our right hand is going to play, actually let's do the left hand first. We have just a C minor chord and then an A flat minor chord. the beginning we did. So it's kind of like that. We're going to start with that and then we're going to reach up and touch the B flat and then come back down. And that is the end of our horrifying harmonies. Thanks again, Tim Topper.